we're back at it again. Here we go. The Fantastic Three. The boys are back. <laughs> All right, all right. What is goody? It's your boy Rhino, AKA Cookies and Cream. What's up everybody? It's your boy Nobo, AKA I sprained my foot last week <laughs> and I gotta ice it for the next two weeks. Ooh. Ooh. You can still react though. I can still react, I think. That's all that matters. Cool. Howdy, what's up? It's Rob, AKA Eggs, cause I'm lit. Okay. okay, that was good. That was actually that was, that was, that was good. Thanks. Hopping right into it. So I used to watch this show back in the olden days, and I unlocked this part of my memory where I was like, oh, that show did exist. So it's called The Moment of Truth, where these people get on here, and I guess the objective is it's a lie detector test that they took before, and then they get asked questions, and if they don't want to answer the question, then they can't win the money. The more questions you answer, the more money you get, but mm. the questions get more and more personal and terrible and life-ruining. The more questions you answer truthfully, you Correct. move up on the money tier list. That's it. So let's hop right into it. Then we shall go on. Would you consider yourself more of a morning person or a night owl? Uh, definitely a night owl. So you like definitely. to stay up late? Yes, yep. I hate waking up early in the morning. Question seven. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? The way he prefaces it by asking a question before. So are you a night owl? You like staying up late? So you like yeah. to stay up late? I love staying up late. Yes, I yeah. hate waking up early in the morning. Next question. <laughs> question seven. He's Have like, you ever pretended to be asleep? Have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? I think He's I like that one friend that's just always in the tea and where the instigator. I mean, yeah, it's uh, like, hey, do you like, you don't like ketchup, right? Uh, no. So then why did you have have it on your burger right here. Like he already knows the answer, but he just, he just wants to blast them in front of everybody. Well, let's see. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? Pretended to be asleep, pretended to have a headache, so yes. <laughs> that answer is true. The laugh. <laughs> Imagine being the husband. Now you can't go home to sing. At what point is the money worth it? Yeah, you get all the money, but then you go home to broken. a broken relationship. And then I don't get why does mommy and daddy and whole family have to That's be there. I don't, I don't, I don't like that either. The public humiliation he has to go through. The whole crowd just knows all that. Oh. Did you cheat on your boyfriend? The cameraman on the boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> the boyfriend, the boyfriend. <laughs> I'll just ask you this before we get into the question. Did you and your husband have a nice honeymoon? There he goes with the questions. It was nice. Do you? Well, you're not gonna like this. <laughs> exactly. Get ready for this question then. Question 14. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Wait, why are the questions so specific? Do you believe that you might have possibly happened to maybe have thoughts about your ex- Your ex-boyfriend? Who knows her well enough to know that she might have had a thought about her ex-boyfriend on her wedding day? How do you come up with that question? Yeah, like, <laughs> not like, have you cheated in a relationship or something broad like that? And what kind of have thought, you thought is of, Have you thought about cheating? I don't know, maybe when we got an <laughs> argument. <laughs> <about it. laughs> Poor guy. Yes, I believe I was. That answer is true. The clap afterwards, the audience is like, you got your money, 50,000. The husband at the end, like, at the end, good job up there. It's like it's targeted at him. These aren't embarrassing for her. It's embarrassing for him. Frank, were you aware that she had those feelings on your wedding day? <laughs> you gotta rub it in. No, I knew that she did have feelings for you know, ex boyfriends yeah, everybody does. I didn't know that you might have been in love with them. <laughs> well, you're not gonna like this next one. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. And this question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest. Oh my God. Lauren, this is your ex-boyfriend, Frank. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got a $100,000 question right here. Frank has a question for you. If you don't want the answer, you still have the button. I don't need to remind what you. The what? What? <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> Sir. Sir, you created this monster. It's bitch. all right, son. You'll be OK. You'll be OK. <laughs> no! Get your fucking daughter. Have her stop cheating on me. The button. I don't need to remind you. Get off me. When you're ready, question 15. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? Oh. That 
question is a devastating question. It is, sir. <laughs> if a family member doesn't want to hear the answer to one of the questions, they can have one save and it swaps out to a new question that she has to answer. So the ugly sister just hit the fucking button. Which I almost think is worse that you didn't answer that right away. These questions have already gotten so bad. The swap questions can't be any better. That's what I'm saying. Works. Frank wanted to hear the answer to this question. Monica, why did you hit the button? I don't want to hear that answer. I don't think anyone will want to hear that answer. Monica, you're not in the marriage. Monica, you're not going to get the 100000 are you? <laughs> I've given Frank an alternate question. It replaces the one that Monica stopped. Do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? That one's worse. That's, that's worse. worse. That's that one's worse. way worse. Because that's the same as the other one. Did they get another save or something? Or no? no, I only got one save. Oh. Well, uh, uh, wow. Well, I want to be honest and say yes. Wait, what? The relationship's over. At least she got 100K. Well, we don't know if it's truth and the truth or not. But what if it's, it seems like that is not true? And then it's like, but you just. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yes, false. So you, I meant, did I say true? Uh, so you don't get the 100K and you lose your husband. But it's actually lit for her because if you actually want to get a divorce, you get 100K because of it. Most people get this, but no money. If I were her, I'd run it up. I guess if you really want to go through a divorce, this would be the best way to do it. Well, it just sucks for the, sucks for the guy. Yeah. That answer is true. You got the money, 100K. Oh, poor guy. You've won $100,000. Uh, first of all, Frank, is there anything you want to say at this point? No, there's, there's really nothing else I can really hear. So, might as well just go for it. Oh. Have you guys talked about this ex-boyfriend at all? Yeah, earlier on in our marriage, but I mean, I didn't know he was still an issue. With an answer like that, I can only uh, assume that you're, you're not happy. Are you unhappy? Obviously, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you must be really sad right now. Are you unhappy? What do you think? <laughs> Can we get the next question? <laughs> she already said everything. Wow. Yeah, rubbing it in. I said right. his life didn't just get shattered. How did that last question make you feel? Spotlight on me. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> What's he supposed to say? Did you know that your wife had f sex with somebody else on your honeymoon? Did you know? No. Oh, oh. You want to know what else? <laughs> what else is there? You know, I mean, just go for it. What else is there to really tell me? All the secrets are out. Why not just go for the 500K? How worse can it get? Just go for it. You can't say just go for it. What did you think before the show when you do the polygraph test, right? And they ask you the questions, knowing those are going to be the questions going to be asked on television. Would you be like, oh, no, I'm going to back out of this. Like, I can't answer it. Whether it's true or false, I can answer can this. Can we do a different one? Can we, like, like a simple not do one? this? If not, I don't want to do this and I don't want to. There's no way these are real. There's it has no, to be all stays, all right? Happen. It has to be. Yeah. If you break it down, it's like, why would you even agree to do the show? You but it should. It's funny. It's funny. It's, this is like a show that didn't need to get made, but <laughs> hey, it's out there, so let's just watch it type of thing. Question 17. Do you think you're a good person? Oh! Honestly, I think I am a good person. That answer is... That's true. That's true. False. She lost everything. That's it? If you get one wrong, you yeah. do That's it. That was a trick question, though. The question was, do you think you're a good person? Like, I could think I am, but you yeah. know you're not, but I think I am. That's a hard Right? It should have been like, are you a good person? True or false? Well, you could think you're anything. So they lost the money, and everything's been revealed that she's not loyal to him. She could have ran with the 100K. Don't be greedy, folks. That's the moral of the story. And maybe don't cheat on your husband. Or maybe marry somebody that you want to marry. You've been married almost seven years, right? Yep. Wedding day, happiest day of your life? One, one of, of the them, happiest. one of them. Yeah, was it a great wedding? It was amazing, yeah. it was amazing. All your family and friends around you? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Nothing that could have went wrong, you think? Best day of your life, right? Wedding day, great, right? <laughs> Let's see. Well, I'm about to end your marriage right now. <laughs> you had a great wedding day, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Question number six. Question 13. Did you invite anyone to your wedding that you previously had sexual relations with? Whoa. The answer is yes. 
That answer is <laughs> true. Darren, any idea who it is? I have no idea. No idea. You'll never know. Why are we laughing? Okay. okay, it was in the past. And I'll do it again, but you won't know. Do you have any secrets that you believe could end your marriage? Oh, yes, but I'm not gonna tell you them. Yes. That answer is true. 15th question, do you wanna try to go for $100,000? At this point, yeah. <laughs> marriage is already ruined, so yeah. The question we just asked, the answer you gave, even though you don't wanna know and you don't wanna tell, that's gonna be with you guys for a while. Right. Right? Yes, it is. It's not gonna go away. No, it won't. At no. some point, you guys are gonna discuss this. Yeah, yeah, probably after the show, sir. Most likely. Genius, dude. You're so smart. For $100,000, do you believe you will be married to Darren for the rest of your life? This marriage is hanging on by a thread. So the question is, do you believe... I know what the question <laughs> is. I do. And your answer is? Yes. That answer is... True. <laughs> Whoa, stop, it's, 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 stop. It's, it's, what? That's weird. What? No, it's, we're not good. <laughs> yeah, wait, what is this? What you hugging for? That's Did you just say there's a secret that's gonna end our marriage? And you invited somebody that you had sex with to our wedding? But she still believes we'll be together because she's never gonna say nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's great that you, oh, I'm gonna be married to him, but I am gonna F these other yeah. people. But he doesn't wanna hear about it. So as long as she does it when he doesn't hear about it, everything will be good. Why he hugging all, I <laughs> Secret Santa Mar marriage. I'm holding in secrets that'll end my marriage. I'd be like, no, we not hugging until I find out what these damn secrets are. Yeah, I think that are gonna it. end our marriage. So that means she never tells him what the secret is. Then she's never gonna tell him. Cause if she told him, then it would end the marriage. Look at me, okay? I know you want hundred thousand dollars. I want to give you hundred thousand dollars. There's an answer you could give to She bad, he just trying to play with her. <laughs> Look at me right in the eyes. Would you fuck the host? For $100,000. $100,000. Skipping all the rest of the questions. I'll give you the 500K <laughs> if you fuck me. <laughs> Say yes. True or true? <laughs> kiss or grab? You gotta kiss or grab the host. Grab or grab the host? Yes or yes? True, come here. Have you ever regretted marrying your husband? Oh! <laughs> she is bad though. Ah. That'll be it for me. I'm walking out of the show. I'm like, camera's off. No. <laughs> no empathy, no tear from her. Like, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Look at him. Next question. That answer is true. You're not mad? You gotta be more upset than You're that. not mad, my guy? You gotta yeah, be. I know. I've been knowing. I know. <laughs> I've been knowing. That's why she signed up for this damn show. <laughs> it's all making sense now. She keeps going on, on business bait. trips. She keeps hanging out with Mark. She told me they were just friends. She told me not to worry about him. For $100,000, would you pose nude in an adult magazine? <laughs> and I need your answer, yes or no. No. That answer is false. Oh. What? 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 Wait, how do you mess that one up? <laughs> Nowadays, that's an easy question to answer. Yeah. yeah. The only Isn't that crazy how that was a terrible, crazy, gut-wrenching question? Nowadays. Here's my OnlyFans. <laughs> here's a link. Here's a link. Three bucks. Three bucks, and here's my fucking ass. Ain't that something. So and that's I, it. There you get ruin a relationship and no money. And that's no it. She doesn't even get a cut or nothing. Where's and she, she would pose nude in a magazine. <gasps> I would have I'd rather answered the other one. This clip looks like it's whatever, it's grainy. It's just another one of the clips. Since you have been married, have you had sexual relations with a man other than your husband in your own bedroom? Oh, so specific. So in your own bedroom at three o'clock. <laughs> Who's writing the questions? The guy you cheated on him with? Yes. <laughs> how did they get the question? Sir, that's true, but how did you know that? <laughs> how did you know it was our bed? Mm -hmm. What do you mean your own bed? Who knew that? <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I cheated, but how did you know it was in our bedroom? How did you know the details? If me cheating was such a secret, how did you know to ask me that? How do you get this information? Yeah, let's see, we don't even know if she did or not. Yeah. We don't even. True. This is... <sighs> This is a crusher of a question, Shannon. <laughs> we know. The host has no friends in real life. Imagine being friends with that guy. You can't tell this guy any secret, nothing. I'll be frank with you. I wish to hell you'd have stopped. 
Mm-hmm. No, you didn't. But I'm getting paid regardless, so. I need your answer. The answer is yes. That answer is true. I wouldn't do that for $50,000. How much was that? Was that the $100,000 question? I wouldn't do that for any amount of money. Well, that was 17 and that was truthful. You were one truthful answer away from $200,000. Are you still in love with Chad? Yes, I really love him. Okay. That didn't sound too believing. That answer is... It doesn't even matter if it's true. It doesn't. This does not matter at all. True. Everything else cancels out. <laughs> she, said, she said, yes, thank the Lord. You teared up a little bit. I've done bad things, but I love him. I love how this makes women look like monsters. <laughs> I did bad things, but I love them. The guy's gonna be cool with that? I love him. What is that worth? Hey, I just cheated again, but I still love you. Don't forget. Okay, so carry on. And now we have to go sleep tonight in the same bed. That you were boning other dudes in? He's over there on the pillows and shit. Like, <sighs> what you get home? Oh, fuck. He's always gonna be uneasy now. This show is toxic. That's it. Are you guys even watching the vlog channel? True or false? Dum -dum. <laughs> That answer is false. false. Oh, you oh. lost all the money. Oh, you, you no. lost. You broke now. Go ahead and subscribe. I don't know. We have a whole bunch of videos over there. It's the gang, and we just do some cool shit. What video should we react to next? Drop a comment. We're reading every comment on this video. That's it. Dung. Dung. Bye. <laughs>